Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome to Why You Should Play Vermintide Alone. Now this is a bit of a weird thing to... Is, what's the word I'm looking for? To promote, considering that Vermintide is a co-op game from the ground up. But it's uh, something I've been willing to share with people. I've played Vermintide entirely by myself, I've had a whale of a time. And given that Vermintide 2 is on the horizon, incidentally, the noise I made when I looked at Steam and saw that Vermintide 2 is going to happen was something along the lines of... But in any case, that's on the horizon, so here's why you should play it by yourself. Or rather, in defiance of how you should argue a point, I am going to say why you probably wouldn't play it by yourself first. So, why you wouldn't do it? Well, it's designed for cooperative play from the ground up. That is what it is designed for. The gameplay is designed for that. This just everything requires cooperation and it helps if your, well, if your co-op partners are smart. The game's based around that. It's based around teamwork. Which, uh, and the bots, while they are a lot better than they were. They're not as good as human players. Not by a long shot. So, there's that reason right there. Some of you probably will get frustrated by the bots at least once. Probably much more than once. And the game is online only. You can't play it offline. You need an internet connection. You can't just, I don't know, turn off the Wi-Fi and chill with this. You have to be online. You have to be on the servers. Okay, now why you onto why you should play it by yourself. For one thing, it's an interesting challenge. You have to cooperate with the computer. You have to essentially be your own boss. And you have to... Basically, it's all on you. The bots can't make snap decisions. It's all on you as to how the team moves as a whole. So it's essentially like you're on the go, like an arm... like a heavily armed rugby scrum. You are the center of the group, you move around and the bots move around you. Then you can bail each other out. And speaking of helping each other out, there's no need to find other human players if you're playing by yourself all the time. So I've never had trouble finding a game or joining a game or whatever because I'm by myself. I'm the only one who needs to be there. It's much more convenient and it just means you can play and it means that if the host loses it, well, the host is me, so there's no problem. And you can play the game at your own pace. Like you can see in the footage here, there's times when I stop and I just wait for things to happen. And a well-oiled team of human players will do that anyway. But since it's just me, I've learned to do that by myself. And it's just, it's nice to be able to play the game at your own pace without somebody yelling, hurry up, what are you doing? I've got to feed the cat in half an hour, kind of thing. Another reason you'd play it by yourself is because on the forums, particularly on the Steam forums, people tend to mishear the dialogue of the characters a lot, which is a shame because it's kind of the way that the game tells its story, it's just these little, this little bits of banter between the characters. And incidentally, there's that's another problem with playing by yourself, I'm gonna mention quickly, is that I don't think there exists a bot for Victor Saltspire, so I've never heard his dialogue with the Bright Wizard. I've never heard them banter, which is a bit of a shame. But in any case, you can actually pay attention to what the characters are saying if you're playing by yourself, and you don't have the aforementioned guy rattling on about how he needs to feed his cat. So. That's a point. And incidentally, the voice acting in this game, I think, is absolutely phenomenal. And it is a real shame if you don't give it your full attention. So you should give it a listen. You just let, it's just great. Barden in particular is fantastic, simply because of the way the odd dwarf word he uses just flows into his into his dialogue. It's just it's really it's just it's just a real actually quite an immersive experience, despite the whole built for co-op thing. It means instead of just playing with yahoos to get loot, you are, like, you know, doing your best to say who's right alongside people you, well, alongside characters you actually might not like that much. And the feeling's mutual. 
Although I suppose that's like a lot of multiplayer games anyway. And speaking of loot, you get the same loot anyway. So honestly, like, if you're only after loot, and grinding for loot, and farming for loot, there's no reason not to play by yourself at least once in a while, because the loot's exactly the same. Like, you get the same ratio of greens to stuff like that. The only counter to that is that, of course, playing with other people is easier, and so if you're playing on high, higher difficulties, you'll need to consider that. If you want to play on... I don't... It is possible to play solo on Cataclysm. I've seen a video or two doing that. It's just incredibly difficult, and you already need high-level gear, which probably means you need to have played on Cataclysm before, which probably means you need to have played with your friends. So, yeah. But if you're like me and you just like to cruise through with whatever weapons you have available, then playing solo is actually quite fun. And incidentally, speaking of fun, and remember I mentioned how the bots might annoy some people? Fat Shark, I tip my hat to you because the bots have gotten so much better since the release of the game. I remember, like, the game, when it first came out, the bots would do stupid things like stand right over the top of you when you were down and do absolutely nothing. Help me, Kruber, you dumb fucking feather-headed motherfucking shit! What are you doing?! Hello?! And they would get stuck on things and would... And just, it would be a complete horror show. Now they can do things like this. Where? Where? How? Why? Where? Bullseye. Holy crap. Now, I just, when I played this, the footage you're seeing now, when I played it for this first time, it's been updated since the last time I touched the game. And the bots even carry grenades and potions for you now, which is amazing. It means I use actually use those things a lot more rather whereas before I was kind of very sparing with them because honestly you can only carry one at a time and so I was just chucking around grenades like no one's business it was absolutely fantastic in any case like if you're a little bit tired of playing Vermintide like playing solo probably isn't gonna bring you back into the game so to speak but it's it's something fresh if you haven't done it before and it should tide you over until Vermintide 2 comes out next year, and I'm very excited for. Like, I'll include the link to, to the game on Steam, and you can see, like, all the new features of the thing. There's, like, they're gonna fix a lot of problems that existed with this game. But the one thing they don't mention, and which I kind of hope they do implement, is an offline mode. So you can actually truly play by yourself, and not have to worry about... I don't know, the internet cutting out or anything like that. Not that that's likely to happen with me, my internet has gotten a lot better. But still, it would be it would be nice if for whatever reason, internet's down, you can still play, you can still enjoy a game of Vermintide, you know? Probably a lot of te technical issues to solve with that, but, you know, I have faith. Fat Shark, you clever bunch, you can figure it out. So, in any case, that's basically it. Like... Essentially, play it by yourself because it's challenging and fun, and it's, like, means, and you can enjoy the solitude, so to speak. That doesn't, well, you'll enjoy the solitude while fighting hordes of ratmen with the, like, non-player characters yelling in your ear, but still, solitude of a sort. So, in any case, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you next time in Vermintide, because I'm gonna play the crap out of Vermintide 2. When it comes out, I will play it on the channel, and for those of you recently joining us because of my From the Death videos, don't worry, those are gonna keep coming. Working on it right now. Farewell!